Hi everyone, this is Jeanette Oakman again. Um, today we're going to have fun with pastry cutters. Uh, you see, just ordinary cheap pastry cutters that I've got in a local shop. Also, I'm using um, art masking fluid as well. You know, there are so many great designs that you can buy in pastry cutters. And I thought, you know what, so many people struggle with, um, I can't do flowers, I can't do stars, whatever. Um, well, get some pastry cutters. You know, I, I have quite a big collection. Um, here you'll see that I've masked off a piece of paper. And now I'm just drawing around a star pastry cutter. Um, I've got quite a few different sizes out and about. As I'm drawing them, um, I'm you see here I've just slightly overlapped the star one that I just drew. I know you can't see too much at the moment, but don't worry. Um, this is this bit, you know, just give you an idea um, of how it all came about. So um, I'm trying to use a really good selection of sizes. Don't want them all the same size. If you think that. If, if you have a particular kind of flower, the bigger it is, the closer it is. The smaller it is, the further away it is. So by using the different sizes, it can also help to um, give your picture a little bit more depth. Um, at this stage, I've got no idea what I'm going to be doing. Um, you know, just putting them most places. I, I knew I just wanted to keep them down towards the bottom. I didn't want to go all the way to the top of the picture. Um, you know, don't be worried about rubbing a little bit away if you need to. And again, um, a little bit more of overlapping going there. So, so many of us, you know, we don't try this and we don't try that, you know, because we're no good at it. Well, find something to help you be able to do it. Right now, here I'm using art masking. So you don't actually really have to do this if you don't want to, but this is what I decided to do. So art masking fluid, um, basically you get an old paintbrush, you don't want to use a new one, and you paint it over the lines um, that you've just drawn around. The idea is that wherever you put the masking fluid, it will stay white underneath, it will, it will um, preserve the white. Um, I'm using it for more reasons than just that, which you'll find out as we're going along. I've also, um, I spit it up very quickly there, as you can see, I've also put a dot in the middle of each flower as well of masking fluid. Um, as you see, I've got quite a collection there. And after I did took that picture, I thought, you know what, I think we need a little bit of sun. So I <laughs> quickly went up and um, painted in some sun. One of the very important things is you don't want to put this on too thick, okay? And um, you really do need to leave it to dry before um, applying any paint. Here I, I, I'm just putting some um, the top of some clouds. Um, I'm not actually drawing a cloud, as you see. Um, I've just painted where the top, up, hopefully, um, to be able to give some definition there. So um, now I'm going to start painting. Now I'm using brusher paint, so you can use any watercolour paint. In fact, you could use any paint you wanted to. Um, but here I'm using brusher paints, which comes in a um, powder form, crystal powder form. So um, I'm only making wet. This is just a wet paint brush, and I'm going in on the bits I want to paint. Now. Because I've put that masking fluid on, it helps to stop the paint from going anywhere else. So um, it's absolutely brilliant. Obviously, you've still got to be careful, but it's a lot easier to be careful. There's less bleeding in of the colours when you work this way. Um, so I decided on this occasion to actually start with the background. Um, and for no other reason, it helps to define where the flowers are for you and it helps you with your artistic juices to work out, you know, what you really want to go with the rest of the picture. Um, don't worry, we're not going to be here too long because after this, you see, well, I've just sped it up to 16 times the speed. 
so that that bit will be um, a bit quicker. Because um, I'm going to make sure I've got all the bits in, but, you know, also as well, by adding water um, to the paper first, you don't want to add too much, but by adding paper first, water first, when you put the paintbrush on with the paint, the paint just kind of like um, goes into all the corners nicely um, and you, you don't end up with like brush marks everywhere so um, it really is a cool way of working so um, now we're going to start on one of the flowers I'll start on the purple flowers first I added a bit of blue, bit of, um, blue to my purple so that it would make it um, a little bit more of the colour I wanted. Right, so now, again, I'm going into this star and I'm making the star wet. I'm not worrying about the middle bit because that's got masking fluid on anyway. Now, when I put the paint, if you look carefully, I just put it into the corner and then the paint just, like, starts having a little dance and party on, on its own, <laughs> basically. Um, so uh, it really does help to get into all them corners and helps to define it a little bit so you'll see that I do this on um, most of the flowers and I want to stress use artistic license you haven't got to do a flower spend hours researching flowers you know I didn't research all these flowers I just went for it you know um, it doesn't matter if, if there isn't any real ones out there that look like what you're going to paint. This is about you letting your creative energies just to flow a little bit, you know. Use a little bit of artistic license and have some fun. See how that um, really showed us there? How it went, so it happens. <laughs> I wish, I really wish, I really wish that I could paint that quickly. Can you imagine the amount of paintings I'd be able to do if I could paint that quickly? Mind blowing. <laughs> so, as you see, I'm just going around doing all of these, getting all the stars done. Um, whoever said paint, watching paint dry was boring, you know, they, they just don't live. I think it's fun watching. I love watching my own videos. It sounds a bit vain. I don't mean it in that way, but I just love watching the way the paint interacts. So um, now I'm going to go on to the um, flower shaped flowers rather than the star shaped flowers. And same principle. I've gone around all the edges and, and everything with water. Um, and I've gone around the edges and just literally putting the paintbrush on and letting the paint do it the rest of it itself and then going back in and smoothing it out a little bit um i have only got one hand i know it looks like i've got well actually i've got two hands but i am only painting with one hand it's because it's speeded up so much so there you go it's starting to look a bit more more like flowers now aren't they um it's pretty cool and you'll see that um, I actually go over the flowers in more, more than once. Same as the background, I'm putting a bit more colour into the background here. Um, yeah. So now, notice here, I've, I've started in the middle and gone round. Um, gone around the inner circle. But when I went on the... Um, Red flowers, I decided to work from the outside in. <laughs> um, I just thought I'd add a bit of variety and a bit more definition that way. And there I'm, I'm, I'm just adding lines. Um, you know, uh, try, I'm trying to give the flower um, so it doesn't look so flat to draw the eye towards the centre. Um, here... Um, I'm making the sky wet and then just adding a bit of blue. Um, as you can see, I'm not doing the blue as dark where the flowers are because that's, if you look at the sky, it's, it's not like that really, is it? 
Yeah, you've got the sun in there. And you can really see the masking fluid on the top of the clouds there, can't you, at the moment? Um, it's pretty cool. So here, I thought, right, okay, let's make these star flowers look a little bit more starry. Um, by putting them lines in, that really helped with that. Just going around the edges of the red ones again. Um, I must admit, I, re I really did enjoy um, painting this. <laughs> so they're getting to the point now, it's, it's you know, um, soon where we can start thinking about taking the masking fluid off. But you don't want to do that until you finish doing all this bit of painting. Um, so this bit's coming up soon. You see how the flowers change each time I add a little bit more colour in. Um, if I wasn't big gems, I probably would have actually um, put a little bit more time into each flower. Now, um, you can see I'm just rubbing my finger where the masking fluid is and it's just coming off very nicely, just rubbing it. Don't need to dig it or anything. Um, so you go round taking that off make make sure you've got it all off it's easy to tell if you've got it all off or not actually because you run your hand over it um if you have left any on you can feel it so yeah, i've just sped up because you don't want to sit sit here for an hour watching me get all of that off um we are the sun um this done that as well um, funny thing was, I'd actually planned to put the yellow inside the red flowers and orange inside the purple one, but when I was actually, um, I realised I'd done it the wrong way round, but I, I, I think it still worked well. So here you go. Um, now, because I've taken the masking fluid off, you've got some white lines there. I could have left them, and I very, very nearly did, but I decided not to. So I'm just going over and painting in where the masking fluid was. Being very careful as well. Um, I don't want it to start rub running in with other paints. Um, it just softens the edges, really, doesn't it? By doing that. So there we go. Just going over the colours again. Make it a little bit dark. Right, so um, just doing some more yellow. So um, now what I'm doing is um, I'm just I've just made the um, ground wet and I'm just sprinkling a little bit of um, green brusho in there, emerald green, where the other one was sap green. Um, just add a bit more definition there, but you don't have to do that. As I say, you haven't got to be using brush or paints. You can do what you want. Um, you could even paint lots of little little other colour flowers in there if you really wanted to. If it's a colour that would go over the the green, um, do what you feel like doing. It's your picture. There's no wrong or right way. There we go, I'm just going and doing that. A little bit of a difference. So there, I look like I'm going up and I'm putting some stalks in, um, stems in for the flowers, trying to make them a little bit more real. <laughs> um, I'm not using too dark a colour because you know, if it turned out to not be the right colour, then that would have been an awful mistake. Um, so, yes, I know I'm happy with that. So I'm just going over trying to define them a little bit more. I don't know if you can, you can't really tell here, but I'm actually using it dark on the right hand side of the stems rather than the left. Now I'm just doing some odd strands of grass or whatever going up there. I thought well, I'd. Add, add a little bit of um, movement, actually. Reminds me of movement. A bit more fun. This picture would actually be really good as um, a greeting card, something like this. Um, 
or an Easter card, whatever. Right, now what I'm doing here is, I've just gone over the little bit of brown, um, but then I go in and I actually put lots of little um, um, black dot, uh, not black, sorry, brown dots inside the orange of the centre of the flowers. So, oh, there you've got your birds. Now, birds are amazingly easy to, to paint when they're at a distance. Basically, you're just painting a wide open V. Um, so, there you go. There's my picture. I hope you've enjoyed watching this and it inspired you to have a go yourself. Um, have fun. Thanks for watching.